Tales for Twinkle Tots. Whee! Subscribe! <laughs> Goldilocks sneaks into the Three Bears' cottage. What could possibly go wrong? Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Once upon a time, three bears lived in a nice little house in a great forest. There was the father bear, the mother bear, and the baby bear. They had each a bed to sleep in, a chair to sit on, and a bowl and spoon for eating milk or honey, which was their favorite food. One sunny morning, Mama Bear cooked a delicious pot of porridge for breakfast, but it was too hot to eat right away. Come along, my dear family. Let's take a stroll through the woods while Mama's porridge cools down. The sun shone brightly though it was low in the sky, and its rays glittered on the fine webs on the grass. The leaves shivered in the soft breeze. Ah, another beautiful day in the forest. Let's go for a walk. The forest air will do us good. The bears decided to take a walk in the forest while their porridge cooled down. Now there lived in the same forest a sweet little girl who was called Goldilocks. She was the woodman's daughter, and her hair looked just like sunbeams. She knew every tree in the greenwood and every flower in it. As the curious little girl went wandering through the forest, she stumbled upon the bear's cottage and, finding the door unlocked, decided to go inside. Is anyone at home? There was no answer. Then Goldilocks stepped in very carefully and looked about her. She could not see anyone, nor hear anybody. So she walked into the bear's parlor. Whose house can it be? There is a table and three chairs and three basins of hot porridge, nobody to eat it. She found the table set with three bowls of porridge, one large, one medium, and one small. She tries the large bowl. Ouch, this porridge is too hot. She tries the medium-sized bowl. Ah, uh, this one is too cold. Lastly, she tries the small bowl. Hmm, this one is just right. So she took the bowl and ate it all up. After satisfying her hunger, Goldilocks explored the rest of the cottage. She found three chairs arranged by the fireplace. A big one, a medium one, and a small one. Ah, the big chair looks so grand and comfortable, but it's too large for me. The medium chair seems cozy with its plush cushions, but it's a bit too soft for my liking. The small chair, just my size. This one feels just right. Yes, this is the chair for me. Then suddenly, it broke under her weight and Goldilocks tumbled to the floor. Baby Bear's chair was too small for her. She broke the seat and fell through. Feeling a bit tired from her adventure, Goldilocks went upstairs to find a place to rest. And there she saw three beds all in a row. Goldilocks lay down on Father Bear's bed first, but that was too long for her. Then she lay down on Mother Bear's bed, and that was too wide for her. Last of all she lay down on Baby Bear's bed, and there she fell asleep, for she was tired. Meanwhile, the three bears returned home from their walk, excited to enjoy their breakfast. But as they entered the cottage, they noticed that someone had been there. Somebody has been here. Oh, somebody has been here. Father Bear growled. Somebody has been here. Mother Bear growled more softly. And when they went to the table to eat their breakfasts, Father Bear growled. Who has touched my bowl? And Mother Bear growled. Who has touched my bowl? And Tiny Bear squeaked. Somebody has finished my porridge and broken my chair. They went upstairs to their bedroom, which was over their other room. And as soon as they saw the tumbled beds, Father Bear growled. Who has been lying on my bed? And Mother Bear growled. Who has been lying on my bed? And Tiny Bear squeaked out. Oh! Here is a little girl in my bed, and it must be she who has eaten my breakfast and broken my chair. Just then, Goldilocks woke up to the sound of the bear's voices. I didn't mean to cause any harm. I was just curious. But I see now that I should have been more careful and respectful of others' belongings. 
with apologies and understanding exchanged. Goldilocks leaves the bear's cottage. I'm sorry for intruding. I must go now. Goodbye. And so, the three bears learned to always lock their door when they went out. And Goldilocks learned to respect the belongings of others. Turn up the excitement and become part of our awesome squad.